This Sunday's 60 Minutes will feature an interview with renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's also the director of the world-famous Hayden Planetarium in New York City. He shared with Charlie Rose how, at a young age, this wonderful place changed his universe. Let's take and Charlie Rose is with us now. Charlie, what an interesting conversation. What an interesting man. He said it all, the endless the excitement of it all, the vastness of it all. I mean, he is our most popular science popularizer. He is Carl Sagan, but he's an astrophysicist. He unlocks the magic of the universe in such an interesting way. And people are really taking to that, right? He's He's got m tons of Twitter followers. Whatever he oh, says, like people... Two million. Right, glom onto it. Yeah, well, they do. And, and he also has, you know, he has this television show or that he called Star Rocks, I think, or Star something. And, and he's just, he, he can communicate nobody. And right. he's, he goes and does these lectures, and it's mm -hmm. a standing room only. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's like mm -hmm. an entertainer. He's like a rock star. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because people are fascinated about the future yeah. and about space yeah. and about the universe. You know, and he really is the Carl Sagan uh, of today. Mm -hmm. And Cosmos, the great Carl Sagan series, they've redone it, and, and he is the guy for that, too. But Carl Sagan also, when I was a kid, he felt sort of unapproachable. He oh, was, yeah, he was very, very much very a scientist. Much a, and he's you know? very much approachable. Right, approachable. Right. Yeah. That's right. He has the enthusiasm of a kid, and you can yeah. sort of see that come through. And what's so fascinating about him is he is able to communicate that in a way mm -hmm. that others sometimes can't, yeah. and, it, and it becomes very unattainable, I think, for kids you especially. Know, he already has something that Alan Alder is helping scientists to understand. It's how to communicate. Yeah. Because yeah. what they do is so exciting, because it's about the future, it's right. about the unknown, it's about taking us on journeys that we have not been. And Alan Alder helps some scientists, but he has it in yeah. I saw something interesting, too. You talked about how we need to get our attention away from movies and, and sports, but he has done stuff like the movie Interstellar, which yeah. everybody loved. He breaks it down. That's he right, talks he about the, right. the true he science does. behind Interstellar and films well, like that. You know, and there's a famous thing uh, about Titanic. Mm -hmm. He saw the fact that the sky they had was wrong. And so <laughs> oh, wow. he told right. the movie makers, this is the most successful movie of all time. Right. <laughs> and he showed it. And they changed the sky by the time they what? released wow. it to the sky that he suggested would have been right for the movie. Wow. That's incredible. incredible. You know. Fascinating conversation. What surprised you most about him? The fact that, that he, um, he hasn't lost his enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Knowing as much as he does, the enthusiasm is that of a child. Mm -hmm. And what is next? I mean, he's already at the apex of his career. Right. Does he yeah. have other aspirations? Uh, I think simply to, because science is so vast, his aspiration is to explain as much of it as he can. I mean, he's an astrophysicist, yeah. you know. Which he knew he wanted to be when he was <laughs> a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> he said it shut everybody yeah. up in the room. A kid from the Bronx who had a dream. Right. And when he saw the planetarium, it just was a knockout for wow. him. Incredible. All right, and you can actually watch Charlie's full interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson this Sunday on 60 Minutes on CBS. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mr. Charlie. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. And we'll be right back.